I'm going to be using a lot of ingredients that you can find around your home or just basic like kitchen stuff that pretty much everyone has um, because I wanted to share and enlighten the true natural side of makeup and how you can achieve a natural flawless face from within your kitchen. First you want to start off with a clean face. Um, I just washed my face off with water. You don't want any of your natural oils to compromise the um, foundation that you're about to lay down. So what I'm using first is this mayo, light mayo, premium mayo from um, First Street. I don't really care about the brand, it doesn't matter. If you prefer to be a little more on the higher end and like truly pamper your skin, try to get the Best Foods brand. I'm just going to work it in my hands and then work it into my skin. I'm just kind of warming it up because it's like fresh from the fridge. So this is going to be my foundation base. I should put my hair up. And I'm going to treat it as an eyeshadow base too. Just an all around base. Well after that, I need to move on to like contour. Bronzer. For bronzer, I'm going with Ghirardelli. Again, high end if you want to be fancy. You know, no big deal if you can't can't afford to go this high, but I'm using the natural unsweetened cocoa baking powder. Just gonna take a little kabuki brush, just get it in. So your typical bronzing um method. So with the mayo, see how it keeps it really, you know, evened out? And it's already given you a nice little glow here. Contour under here too. Hold on. I think there was a beak in there or something. <coughs> From there, taking some paprika. Obviously for blush. The mayo will activate it nicely. Also can double for exfoliant. Oh, I'm not really big into blush, so I don't need it that um that intense. For eyeliner and eyebrows and stuff like that, I'm I just found this in um in my barbecue. Um it's been it looks like a really burnt charred to hell piece of wood, I think, but um, it's fine. So we're just gonna fill in the brows, eyeliner. For actual highlight, I'm using light sour cream. And then this cool thing I learned from drag queens is uh, baking. You got your, your cooking. So you're gonna wanna let that like bake and cook for a little bit. This is probably my favorite trick. Um, an egg. So this isn't, uh, I know this isn't very, like, vegan or, um, cruelty-free. Uh, but you could definitely skip this step. Also, the mayo and the sour cream, um, if you, you know, you were, you, you wanted a more vegan option. But I'm gonna take this egg... And I want some of the yolk. So I'm taking my egg and painting my eyelids with it. Just going in with my glitter. And I find that it lasts throughout the day and into the night. Just depends on what, um, you know, just what what you're going for, but point is, it lasts a really long time. 
probably one of the better glitter adhesives I've used. I'm going to use that and some curry powder. Got a little rainbow theme going. I know it looks kind of sloppy, but it's because I'm really, I'm trying to rush, so because I've gotten complaints that my videos are too long, so I'm trying to like keep it going, but normally I would, oh, this could be blended now. Normally, I would take my time and like sort of finesse it a little bit. You know, some people have seen my videos before and like they know that I'm like, you know, they know it's up. And that uh, I could do a way better job, but um, <coughs> just keep that in mind. Like, don't judge me. Forgot about my setting powder. My setting powder to keep it not, you know, with the theme of being natural, I've gone and went outside and got some dirt. And I got some of the topsoil because it's um, it's a little closer to my color. So I guess just depending on your region or where you live, it, it, it'll vary like what's available and whatnot. So I'm taking my kabuki brush again and um, I'm just going to do a light dusting. Make sure it's all uh, settled in. Oh. So if like rocks get in your eyes, I find that blowing like that really helps. And you've also got um, that natural uh, nose contour, just kind of, there you go, fill out the, um, erase the middle part, it's fine. Obviously we're going to keep it classy with a red lip and I'm using fancy, fancy, <laughs> fancy ketchup from McDonald's. As I've worn this look out, I haven't no I haven't noticed that it lasts any longer or less without lip liner. What's really fun about this? This doubles, so get you some ketchup and consume even on the way in. That's it for my natural look. My um. You know, this is extremely affordable. So if something, if that was something important to you, I would definitely go shopping in your kitchen first, and then see what you can work with instead of having to bother with like Sephora or Ulta or something. I've been reading a lot about this, and it's a huge trend in the celebrity, like super underground, like quiet celebrity world. Um, uh, next to like rubbing like blood on their face and stuff like that. Um, so you know, just uh, you know, wait for it. You'll see. It'll happen. Um, Alright, hope this helped. Hope you like. Thank you for watching and subscribe me if you have. Bye!